Hello, Guardians. Welcome back to DTR. This is Rightway Gaming, back making videos. Yay. Today, I'm going to bring you the weekly vendor rolls for the weapons um, for each vendor, of course. Um, and I'm going to start at the Quartermaster, just because, well, quite frankly, three of them are in the ship hangar and the other two are at the other side of the tower, so it makes sense to start here. So, with the Vanguard Quartermaster, the first one, which is the obvious choice, is the Parthian Shot. Uh, it's got a Head Seeker, Perfect Balance, and Outlaw. Now, that is a pretty deadly combo. It's n not considered a god roll, but it also has Feed and Frenzy as well, and I think them two perks there combined with the reload speed of these makes it a decent pulse rifle in general you know i wouldn't i mean you could try and use feather mag with these and just make it even more ridiculous but to be honest i don't think you're gonna need to um it also has sure shot and the oeg but out of all them three i'd just set to use that one if i'm honest it has the best target acquisition best handling and it increases your snapshot well it don't give you snapshot but aims quicker Next on the list, I have, um, it's not the best, but it's a scout rifle that I consider a half decent PVE. You've got third eye, so you've got your radar. Brace frame to increase your handling. I mean, I'd say high caliber realms aren't really that useful in PVE. And then you've got life support or mulligan. And again, I'd use mulligan there. It means that you're not going to have to reload as often, but... Yeah, so yeah, it's a half decent PVE scout rifle, not the best, but you know, if you're in search of one, then pick it up. Next, I didn't know whether to comment on this one, it's a how do you hand cannon. By no means necessary, it's not a great hand cannon, it's quite shocking if I'm honest. But it has third eye, rifle barrel, which you're always wanting on a hand cannon. That or range finder anyway, but I prefer to have them both. Um, explosive rounds again I wouldn't use because it's a PvE roll, but it's got Hot Swap and Icarus. So them two there are a pretty decent combo on a hand cannon. But like I said, by no means necessary is it a god roll. It's just that if you're looking for a decent Icarus hand cannon, you know, it's a good place to start. That's not really a good roll. The Teacup Tempest. I'm not a sidearm expert. But the hop swap, the high caliber rounds, and them two make it an alright sidearm, I suppose. Um, by all means, it's again not a god roll, but it's just a half decent one. Now, seven cents. This is definitely a PVE sniper. It has firefly, explosive rounds, and triple tap. So that you'd have a lot of fun with in the PVE raid example but again it's not going to be your primary choice because of the impact but them three definitely pve perks and since it's got all three it's definitely up there with the best pve snipers and it's got short gears which just makes it nice and easy to use because you're not zooming straight in on someone's nostrils bone crusher this is a good PvP roll this week. You've got Rangefinder, Brace Frame, Feeding Frenzy, so you've got faster reload, better handling, and range. You don't really have any decent sights, so I'd stick with the CQB ballistics on this one. And then that's it for the Vanguard Quartermaster this week. Next, we're on to Dead Orbit. So we did all a bit this week. We have an okay extrema file. It's got hidden hand, small ball, and quick draw. So them three are the perks that I'd use on it. It's a good PvP roll. Um, it's going to get you more headshots. It's going to handle okay, and it's going to you're going to be able to pull it out and be ready for action. Pretty damn snappy. Um, it's got sure shot as well. So again, it's always the preferred site. Next, we have the Keystone. Again, this is another PVE scout rifle. Because you've got Zen Moment, which increases its stability, makes it easier to use. 
you've got small ball or triple tap and personally since you've got zen moment i'd go with a triple tap and then you have high caliber arms or quick draw and again high caliber arms no good in pve so i'd stick with quick draw you've got a range lens and a rifle scope I'd probably stick with the reflex scope on that because it's the easiest to use. Next we have the Bitter Edge Sniper, which is again a PvE roll. Uh, you've got Hidden Hand, Triple Tap and Explosive Rounds. So you're gonna, it's going to be easier to get the headshots, you're going to get rounds loaded back into your magazine and it's going to cause um, an area damage when you pull the trigger well when you get a shot basically none of them are ex exactly the best scopes so i'll probably stick with a hawkeye on that if i'm honest um, and then next we have um, a pretty decent rocket launcher it has tracking it has tripod and quick draw so they make it a pretty decent pvp and pv rocket launcher if i'm honest the only problem with Unto Dust is it is pretty weak in the damage compartment, if, I, if you ask me. The radius and the velocity is way too low. So, yeah, but it's, again, it's not preferred rocket launcher, but the perks on it this week are definitely some nice ones. Next, we are on to Future Oracle. So with Future War Cult this week we have the Whale Hand Cannon which has a a decent PvE roll on it again. It seems to be PvE this week if I'm honest. So you got Firefly, you got Hammer Forged or Triple Tap. Now it's a choice out of them two which ones you want to use. You know, by all means use either. I'd probably go with a triple tap because I'm not gonna be that far away from what I'm shooting in PvE. And then you've got quick draw or explosive rounds, and personally I'd go with explosive rounds there just because of the extra damage and it could possibly stagger adds that are causing you a bit of hassle. It has steady hand, sure shot, and quick draw. And again, I'd probably go with a sure shot on that, but steady hand is probably not a bad option either. Next up we have... Um, can you call it a god roll? It's pulse rifle? You probably could. It's got glass half full. Perfect balance or outlaw and high caliber rounds and quick draw. All them perks on a pulse rifle are great perks in my eyes. Um, like I said, some people might say it's a god roll, some people say it might not be. It's not perfect, but I'd, I'd personally use it in PvP because it's better than my Grasper Malak because of the perks it's got and it has the same fire rate. Obviously, this them sort of fire rate pulse rifles got nerfed in the last last patch, but they're still, by all means, they're still useful. And it's got quick draw, which is a nice uh, little scope as well as the reflex scope. And next we have the wounded, which I think is another scout rifle, and it's got hidden hand, perfect balance and unflinching, explosive rounds and quick draw. Now, if you ask me. You could use this in both PvP and PvE, because the unflinching is definitely going to help in PvP. The perfect balance is going to make it handle better, in and hand more headshots, explosive rounds for again when you get in the tricky moments in PvE and you just want to stagger your targets. And quick draw. It's pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. Um, and either of them two scopes would work. Could probably stay away from that one. And then, next of all, we're on to the Crucible Quartermaster. So I'll be back with you in a second. Yes. Right, okay, so with the Crucible Quartermaster, there's only three weapons I'm going to go through. We have the Zero Day Dilemma, which has Counterbalance, Rodeo, and Small Bore. Now, if that Small Bore was a braced frame, this would handle like a dream in my opinion, but small do small bar is uh, quite a easy second if I'm honest. Um, but with counterbalance and rodeo, this thing should shoot straight up. You shouldn't be getting any sway out of it whatsoever. 
making the engagements in PvP much easier to handle. It's got steady hand as well, which increases stability and reload. Again, making it even easier to handle, making those engagements in PvP a little bit easier to win. Because those headshots count. Next up, we have the B29 Party Favor. Now, I didn't know whether to include this, but I thought I would do just because, well, why not? It has Head Seeker, always a good pick for a pulse rifle. It has unlaid stock, which uses your range, but gives you a lot of stability. Again, making this thing a, just nice and easy to handle. It's these two that really laid it down. You have Secret Round, missed the shot, will fire a fourth shot. It's okay but it's not great. And then partial refund. After an assist, you have a chance to return a portion of the magazine. Not a great perk again. It has quick draw, reflex, and OEG. So yeah, no great sights. Probably, I'd probably go with quick draw on that, if I'm honest, because it increases reload and makes it handle faster. But yeah, it's not great. And then, this week, we have a very nice palindrome roll for PvP. We have Luck in the Chamber. Always a nice perk to have on a hand cannon. Rifle Barrel. You don't want to be hand cannon without that. Explosive Rounds, ignore that. And Icarus. Improves your accuracy well. Urban. Again, another nice perk for a hand cannon. This palindrome has had a nice roll on it. Near enough like four weeks in a row, I think. And Hot Swap. But personally, you're not going to want to use anything other than them three perks. It has True Sight. You want to be using that. Fast draw and quick draw. You want to be using true sight on that. You, just, you don't want to use anything else. And that, guys, is it, I'm afraid. Personally, my advice would be to buy the palindrome this week. And if you've already got one with that sort of role, my second option would be the waltz from Future War Cult. So, yeah. Hope well, you've enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you next time. I almost forgot. New Monarchy has jack all. So, yeah. Don't waste time.